can just see the amount of ships look that's being either offloaded or loaded on to a, straight onto a container hi guys today i'm in dubai i'm just outside my hotel and i want to find out about the ships in dubai there are ships called does and they sail around the persian gulf and some of them even go as far as india and pakistan i want to go and see what they do and how they operate so first up i'm gonna go and get some breakfast and then i'll go to the shipyards to see what happens let's go uh, this is the place i've come it's called al khaimah restaurant it's all quite cheap uh, each each meal is couple of pounds two three pounds each and this is what i ended up getting it's called paya and it's sheep's foot that's been slow cooked in a rich gravy i ate this with naan this is my first stop here there's the new library uh, i can't remember what it's called dubai library or something uh, right next to that is this place it's called obed bin uh, bin juma saloon ship building establishment and here you can see on here this is where they build ships but i'm not sure if they'll let me i'll go in and ask hopefully they let me film very quickly inside just just to show you if not i mean you can see the ships from ship being built under construction there from the outside but it is friday so there may not even be anybody here let's go and find out unfortunately they were closed as i expected it's almost lunchtime uh, and it's almost friday prayer time he said they're open tomorrow uh, there's nobody in the office but somebody should be there tomorrow so i might go back tomorrow uh, i'm now going to go to the port and see what it's like there which may also be closed unfortunately it's a friday i did come back the next day and unfortunately they didn't allow me to film now i'm at the dubai wharfage in dira and you can just about see here all of the boats that come in and they're offloaded by hand they're not containerized like you usually see in ships but look there's a crane there and they offload all of the stuff by hand and load it onto these waiting trucks ready to go wherever they need to and personally i think it's kind of surprising that such a system still exists when there's containerization but clearly there's still a demand for it for example look at this look that one is LG washing machines down there I can see what that is, air conditioning units uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff and these, these ships sail around uh, the Gulf, Persian Gulf I think they also go down to Somalia and some of the bigger ones they also go to India and Pakistan and bring goods from there because because the port of Karachi is only about well from Oman it's about a thousand kilometers so maybe from here it's about 1400 so it's not even that far away unfortunately I couldn't get in here uh, I assume because it's a customs restricted area um, and he was like you need a gate pass or something and you've got an Omani registered vehicle foreign vehicles aren't allowed in here anyway oh look there there's a bunch of tires there as well Personally, I think this is quite impressive. This is what used to be done before, well, before containerization, definitely. Obviously, L London Docklands was like this. But even before, um, e even before, uh, uh, before the whole uh, Jebel Ali was built and all the large container ships, they wouldn't come here. They, they would come to places like this. They wouldn't have container ships, sorry. Jebel Ali from here. It's probably about uh, an hour's drive. One other thing that I think uh, is the reason for people using these over the container ships is the amount of time that it would take for a container to be offloaded, uh, de-stuffed or stuffed from here. This city's right here. There's a fruit and vegetable market just down there. Things can come off this ship and just go straight into the market with very little delay. If it gets into a container, the containers have to be offloaded, the containers have to be de-stuffed. That takes time, could take a couple of weeks sometimes. This, straight off the boat and onto your truck and you can go wherever it needs to. It's probably better for smaller loads. And it may be labor intensive, but labor isn't exactly, uh, it may be labor intensive, but labor isn't exactly expensive either. Uh, here, labor I think is about three, 400 pounds. And if it's going to, around Africa or Pakistan, India, labor there isn't expensive either. So it's probably worthwhile 
doing just for the speed and efficiency of it. I'm gonna go to Sharjah now and hopefully, hopefully they let me in, in there or I can get a bit closer so we can have a look at what kind of goods are trading and it'll be even better if we can speak to, sorry, just this truck. It'll be even better if we can speak to a sailor, maybe ask him where he came from, what's he doing. We can take a look. So, I wanna go back to my car, which is down there. Down there, you can see this is all Diva. There's a big shopping market down there. And this is all a new development and this big road that goes above it. This expressway, I don't know what you call it, elevated motorway, that's completely brand new as well. I've never seen it before. So, I'll catch up with you guys when I get to Sharjah. So I've made it to Sharjah and it appears that there's literally no uh, gates or anything. You can just drive off the street and onto the loading docks. And you can see here, there's just a line of ships and it goes far back, a couple of kilometers maybe. And all this, this ship is loaded for coming or going, I'm not sure, but you can see all the stuff comes off the ships and here. This is, uh, looks like air conditioners maybe, made in Thailand, um, I'm not sure. If they're coming or going, probably going. And these ships will go from here to India, to Africa, and it seems a very convenient way of, uh, of organizing it for smaller loads, because you can just put it straight onto the ship, sail it away, or it comes in, goes straight onto here, onto a truck. You can look down there, there's a container truck being loaded directly off the ship, or the other way around. So you can just put it, everything straight onto the ship very quickly and get sailing. So anyway, I might go and see if I can have an interview with one of these, um, with one of these uh, sailors and see what they have to say. So there's a ship here. I spoke to the sailor, but he didn't want to be on video. He was telling me uh, that his, this ship will go to Iran from here. And he said ships go from here to, uh, here to Pakistan, India, Africa, all the way down to Kenya, from Dubai to Kenya, which is quite a distance. I thought that was very cool. And you can see they're loading this ship up, ready to go. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff here, ready to go. That looks like pianos, uh, tires. Well, look at this. That up there is a land cruiser. It looks like they can put these cars, either put them on or take them off these boats as well. Uh, there's all sorts on this one, furniture, some piping. There's a load of stuff here, just, just put here, anyone can come and take it, but obviously the UAE uh, is extremely safe, so no one comes and pilferages any of these goods from here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.